My dear brothers and sisters, the qalb in Islam, the qalb in the Quran and Sunnah is not the beating heart that we have in the body. Rather, it means the seat of spirituality. When Allah talks about the qalb, this is not the physical qalb that we can take out and have a heart transplant, put another heart in. No, that's the physical qalb. Allah is talking about the spiritual qalb, the spiritual heart. There is a heart of the soul, just like there's a heart of the body. And the heart of the soul, if that is pure, then the soul is pure. And the heart of the soul, if that is bad, then the soul is bad. And therefore, there are diseases of the heart that our Sharia tells us about, such as anger, such as arrogance, such as malice, such as selfishness, the worst disease of the heart, from which all other diseases stem. That is the disease that the Quran calls Qaswatul Qalb. The hardness of the heart. Qaswatul Qalb. To have a hard heart. And the Quran mentions Qaswatul Qalb as being a punishment from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If you have a hard heart, there's no defense mechanism against any other disease. All other diseases will be found in that heart because the defense mechanism has been destroyed. Your hearts became hard. Your hearts were so hard, they were harder than rocks themselves or even more hard than rocks. This is what Allah mentions about a previous nation. In another verse, Allah Azza wa Jal says, because they broke our covenant, they didn't follow their sharia. La'annahum, we cursed them. Waja'alna qulubahum qasiya. And we made their hearts hard. Wallahi, my dear brothers and sisters, if this was the only reference in the whole Quran and Sunnah to a hard heart, it is enough to scare us. Allah cursed them and made their hearts hard. So Allah's curse is linked with having a hard heart. And there is nothing more dangerous and more of a punishment than Allah's curse. The primary symptom of a hard heart is simply not caring about Allah's commandments, about Allah's sharia. You don't care what Allah wants of you. You have no desire to find out or to implement. You live your life cut off from the sharia of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And Allah has linked this directly in the Quran. Because they broke our covenant and the covenant of Allah is his sharia. Because they didn't care about our sharia, we cursed them and we made their heart hard. So if we find ourselves living our lives and it never occurs to us to ask, is my money halal? If it never occurs to us to ask, the time that I'm spending, is this what Allah is pleased with? It never occurs to us to ask, what is my goal in life? Then wallahi, this is a symptom that our heart is hard. Another symptom that the heart is hard is that the person continues worshiping Allah without enjoying the worship of Allah. The worship of Allah becomes a burden and a chore. The worship of Allah becomes an irritation and nuisance rather than the sweetness and the honey of one's life. My dear brothers and sisters, the true believer finds comfort in worshiping Allah. The true believer's Iman is rejuvenated when they worship Allah. There is nothing more sweet to the believer than the worship of Allah. But if we find ourselves, we seek Allah's refuge, we look at the watch and say, Oh no, it's time to pray again. I just prayed, subhanAllah. If we find ourselves dreading the month of Ramadan, if we find ourselves not wanting to do an act of worship, even if we do the act of worship, but we do it with that type of attitude, when salah becomes a nuisance, when salah becomes a chore, when salah becomes a burden, this is a symptom that we're suffering from the hardness of the heart.